Hello, my name is Fred Loveless, and I'm going to provide a brief demonstration on the installation of Kep Server 5. So I've copied this uh, to my desktop so that it makes it easier to install, to run the install. For this purpose, you can run it from anywhere, a CD if you get our CD, or the web if you download it from the web. So the first thing we do is launch it and the installation window comes up. We're going to click next. Be sure to read the license agreement. There are some things that have changed including the warranty period in the return policy which is now 90 days versus 60 days. So I'm going to click to accept the license agreement and click next. This is something new for Kep Server 5. We allow you to install side by side with Kep Server 4 or to remove and redirect a product. Now side-by-side -side installation means that in your client application if you want to connect to Kep Server EX5 you're going to have to actually redirect or, or change your uh, prog ID to point to Kep Server 5 instead of Kep Server 4. If you choose remove and redirect what it's going to do is it's going to remove Kep Server EX4 and it's going to make some registry entries that are going to redirect any request for a Kep Server 4 connection to Kep Server 5. So it's very, very important that you understand how this works. We don't want you to remove 4 if you don't have to or don't want to. Um, but if you want to make it easy on yourself for connecting your client to your project, choose Remove and Redirect. I'm in a test environment, so I'm going to keep mine side by side. If I click side by side, I click Next. This is the destination folder that by default Kep Server EX5 is going to install to, and that's where I'm going to let mine install. The we also provide a uh, default shortcut, which is a Kepware folder in your start menu, and I'm going to choose the default and click next. Now comes the installation. You need to choose what you want to install, and we, there are several things that you can install. There are plugins, which are advanced tags, data logger, and the Oracle MES MOC connection. Uh, there is native client interfaces for GE Fnuc iFix and Wonderware, SweetLink and FastDE interfaces. Then of course there is the Kepware drivers. Now for my installation I'm going to install everything. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click and I'm going to select entire feature and sub features so this is going to install everything now you have your option to go just install the the pieces that you want to install the other thing that I'm going to do is I want all of the examples and documentation now I'm not going to install hardware key support you can hardware key and software keys can be installed on the same machine um, in this case, I'm not going to have any in my test environment, so I've selected everything. I'm going to click Next. And this is asking if we want to create a configuration a desktop shortcut, and yes, I'm going to do that. Give you, we give you the option to back up and reset or change your mind. I'm going to click Next to continue, and we are now installing Kep Server 5. This is going to take just a a few seconds as it walks through and makes uh, installs all the files and makes some registry entries. Now, if you're running on a Vista or 2000 machine, uh, Vista or 2008 machine, or Windows 7, when we start supporting that operating system, when you run the install, it's going to ask you to elevate your privileges if you have UAC running. So it, it does need to be have administrative privileges to make the registry entries that are required. All right, we're going to be done momentarily. As we wait, and we are done. You can choose to view the readme if you want to. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click finish. And we are done with our installation of Kep Server 5.